game one against Cloud. I'll be honest, I hate heroes so much. I oh, really... then you're not gonna like this. Oh, I just hate heroes heroes so, so much. That's also Somio. big Arcadian energy. Go! Yeah, Hero is just roulette energy. Yeah. Hero is like oh, an amazing backdash to kaboom, <laughs> a huge conversion off of a oh, completely Norman. random move. I've seen Norman before. I think I actually saw Norman. It's at uh, Milk Jade's brother. Really? Yes. Oh, that's lore. That's lore oh, right that there. That is deep lore. And a great start from Silvio. Uh, managing to get 120% on Norman, almost uncontested. And uh, it's interesting because I, I've recently uh, learned that you could just hold on to limit for as long as you wanted in four. Uh, yeah, ain't that crazy? Yeah, that sounds awful. Yeah, no, you get 15 <laughs> seconds and that's all you're allowed. Yeah, so so it's unfortunate that Norman kind of got limit early in the stock, so was able to, to convert the limit blade to, into damage, but definitely would have liked to have been able to save that for later in the stock where they could have confirmed an early kill because they're certainly going to need it because Silvio is running away with it right now. Great spot dodge down tilt from Norman, going to call out the down smash. Hero's down smash definitely very strong, particularly if they get a crit, but not uh, so fast in terms of frame data, very punishable. Yeah, Silvio has stayed fairly dedicated to Hero, and you know Hero is definitely known more for RNG and shenanigans. Like, does have decent normals and pretty good projectiles on the whole. Like, playing a keep away game and just weaving in and out of the action works out really well for Hero. Yeah, no, for sure. Uh, Hero definitely does a really good job uh, sort of staying really, uh, really evasive and kind of staying in that longer range because then they can really open up the menu and, and kind of like get a look at their spells, all of which are very powerful, of course. Uh, but it's also just sort of, uh, and I love that wait, just waiting at the limit. Uh, but it's also just like opening the menu, I feel like is very distracting for your opponent. But they now sort of have this, this uh, these four options to sort of contend with and figure out. A, which one you're going to use, and B, what that really means for them in this situation. Like, menu select is very interesting because not only do you have to worry about four potential options that your opponent could pick, and laggy though they may be on startup, can all cause some sort of mayhem, like the snooze into full charge forward smash that seals the deal for Silvio's game one. But another thing that menu does is almost like a sleight of hand trick. Yeah. Because the menu pops up, you're forced to look at it. And whether or not you can read that fast enough, you're looking at that. So there's a lot that's going on below here. But still, Hero can just do something. He can jump and start to initiate without committing to any of those options. So then yeah. you have to worry about Hero moving in on your space. Closing the menu is is definitely really powerful. And, and one thing I found as a factor of the fact that I play this game in Italian at home is that uh, actually just not reading the menu and just trying to block can actually be pretty effective. Getting distracted by the menu can be really difficult because then you uh, kind of take your eyes off the game or your eyes off what here is really setting up. And while you can sometimes get like hit with like Hatchet Man and stuff, if you just like hold block, it can be Hatchet very Man has 37 frames of startup, and if you are blocking that, you you are the sinner on screen, yeah, that's, not hero. That's fair. <laughs> so you definitely bring up a good point that, like, literally. The <laughs> I love that bounce. I love that bounce so much. Great stuff from Silvio. Gonna convert it into 40 percent. Going for the cheeky black at 40. Come on. Yo, every bone in my body wants to see a crit by the end of the set. Uh, yeah, I, the things I hate. Here, Hero, but I want to see some hero just nonsense. Uh, yeah, I definitely want to see a thwack. I definitely want to see a whack. In Italian, it's actually just called kill. Nice! Yeah, isn't that right? <laughs> Let's skip the foreplay and get right to <laughs> yeah. what we know is about to happen. Seriously. They're interesting stuff. And I like that. Uh, I think a lot of heroes. <laughs> oh my god. Get very close. away. big ass head. You got him axed. Yeah, seriously. Well, a lot of heroes, I feel like, get carried away with menu with a ledge, uh, as a ledge trapping option. But Silvio, you don't really see doing that. You see him going for a much more traditional ledge trap game for the most part, and then sort of sporadically mixing in that menu usage. Like, the menu is definitely there for the presence of being able to bait an approach, and then Silvio seems to be able to operate very well against Cloud. Yeah, and it just feels like Silvio is always just staying right outside where Norman wants him to be. Oh, great coverage on the ledge, but it's actually not going to catch Sylvia. Just waits out the limit cross slash and manages to get back to the, uh, the ledge. Great spot dodge from Norman. What's and, the move? Uh, What's the move? Yeah. Oh, uh, great fireball. So the second, I forget the name of the second fireball, but it's actually an amazing projectile. It's like Frizz, I think. Maybe. It's, I it's, it's it's some it's some nonsense, but it it's is absolutely weird. worth the the use because. It's very mana efficient. It 
has priority over other projectiles. I don't think it's transcended, but I think it, it does have high priority. And it deals respectable damage. I, I just hate that mana efficient is now a thing that a move in Super Smash Brothers can be. You know? <laughs> so it goes, man. Yeah, I mean, that is what it is. Uh, it's Hero definitely... I mean, however you feel about Hero, uh, they're definitely an incredibly unique character. Definitely a, a very interesting character, and they definitely bring something to the game that nobody else really does. Uh, and Sylvia really showing it off right now, it looks like. I'm interested to see... Ha! Wow! Oh, my God. And that covers so much ground. He wasn't even at roll oh, distance. Oh, yeah, the, the hitbox for that is actually criminally He massive. was at, like, two roll distance <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And what do you even do there? Besides just wait, I guess, is what you do there. Um, you extend your hand to hold the L, man. That's how that yeah, goes. Geez. But, you know, Norm is not out of it just yet. No, he hasn't taken a lot of closer percentage. than game one as well. Oh, oh my god. He had the right idea. Didn't get the up air, but man, just kind of salvage it with a drop down up there. Go for the flat, no balls. No, I, I really thought he was just going to reverse hatchet, man, oh, yeah? and just completely just saw off Cloud's legs. Yeah, I can see it. Oh, wow. Wise on uh, jumping over the menu there. Menu doesn't really have any options that cover high very well, besides maybe, like, the crackle it, slash? It, it would just be uh, crackle slash. Wow, and a down air. I didn't even know that spiked. It does. It's just kind of terrible. But either way, that is the end in favor of Silvio with a very yeah, explosive A confident set, set from Silvio. And definitely some really impressive stuff. And it's always just great when you see a, a thwack on stream. Oh, yeah, we needed one for the culture. Yeah, definitely. A little oh, bit I like shot in front of it. He just didn't even get stabbed. He definitely just looked at his boots and was like, guess I'm gone. Yeah. <laughs>